What if I told you that the invisible scars of your past are shaping your present? Not just in your mind, but deep within the very cells of your body. We often think of trauma as a mental wound, something that affects our thoughts, our moods, our ability to cope. And yes, it does all of that, but the truth is far more profound and far more physical. Trauma doesn't just reside in your memories, it writes itself into your biology. It changes your brain, your hormones, your immune system, even your DNA. It's a silent architect, subtly rebuilding your internal landscape, often without your conscious awareness. Today, we're going to pull back the curtain on this hidden process. We're going to explore, in plain language, the astonishing and sometimes alarming ways that trauma reshapes you from the inside out. This isn't about blaming or shaming. It's about understanding, because when we understand, we can begin to heal. Number one, your brain on alert, the amygdala's overdrive. Consider your brain's alarm system, a tiny almond-shaped region called the amygdala. Its job is to detect threats and trigger your fight, flight, or freeze response. For someone who has experienced trauma, this alarm system becomes hypersensitive. It's like a smoke detector that goes off every time someone toasts bread, not just when there's a fire. This means you might find yourself constantly on edge, easily startled, or overreacting to minor stressors. Your body is perpetually bracing for danger, even when none exists. This isn't a choice, it's a neurological adaptation. Your brain, in an effort to protect you, has learned to see shadows as monsters and whispers as shouts. This constant vigilance drains your reserves, making it harder to focus, to sleep, and to simply exist in a state of calm. Number two, the shrinking seat of reason. The prefrontal cortex takes a hit. While your amygdala is working overtime, another crucial part of your brain, the prefrontal cortex, might be struggling. This is the executive control center, responsible for rational thought, decision-making, impulse control, and regulating emotions. Trauma can actually decrease the volume and activity in this area. Think about it. When you're in survival mode, there's no time for nuanced thought. Your brain prioritizes immediate reaction over careful consideration. Over time, this can lead to difficulties with problem solving, making good decisions, and managing intense emotions. It's why you might struggle to articulate your feelings or find yourself acting impulsively in stressful situations. Your brain, in its desperate attempt to survive, has effectively downgraded its thinking capabilities in favor of its reacting capabilities. This can also make it incredibly difficult to learn from past experiences or plan for the future as your focus remains fixed on the perceived dangers of the present moment. Number three, the memory maze the hippocampus and distorted recollections. The hippocampus is your brain's memory center, particularly for contextual and chronological memories. Trauma can disrupt its function, leading to fragmented or jumbled recollections of traumatic events. You might experience flashbacks, feeling like you're reliving the event, or conversely, have significant gaps in your memory. This isn't your memory failing, it's your brain trying to process something overwhelming. It can store traumatic memories differently, often as sensory fragments, a smell, a sound, a feeling, rather than a coherent narrative. This is why a seemingly innocuous trigger, like a particular scent, can instantly transport you back to a moment of terror, even years later. Your mind tries to protect itself by compartmentalizing the horror, but this very act can make it harder to truly integrate and move past the experience. The past isn't just a memory. It's a living, breathing presence that can intrude on the present without warning. Number four, the stress hormone cascade, cortisol and adrenaline gone wild. Trauma triggers a surge of stress hormones, primarily cortisol and adrenaline. These are essential for immediate survival, providing a burst of energy and heightened awareness. But chronic, sustained release of these hormones, as happens in prolonged trauma, has devastating effects. Imagine your body constantly running on high alert, a perpetual state of fight or flight. This sustained chemical assault can lead to chronic inflammation, a silent killer linked to a host of physical ailments like heart disease, autoimmune disorders, and digestive issues. Your sleep patterns are disrupted, your metabolism can go haywire, and your immune system, initially boosted, eventually becomes suppressed, leaving you vulnerable to illness. It's as if your body is constantly preparing for a marathon, but the race never ends, gradually wearing down every system, 
the internal stress response, designed for acute threats, becomes a chronic condition, slowly eroding your physical health and leaving you feeling perpetually run down and unwell. Number five, the gut-brain connection, a disturbed inner ecosystem. Your gut is often called your second brain, and for good reason. It's teeming with billions of bacteria that influence everything from your mood to your immune system. Trauma can profoundly disrupt this delicate gut microbiome. Stress hormones alter the composition of gut bacteria, leading to dysbiosis, an imbalance of good and bad bacteria. This can manifest as digestive issues like irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. But the impact extends far beyond your stomach. A compromised gut can affect nutrient absorption, exacerbate inflammation, and even influence your mental well-being through the gut-brain axis. It's a vicious cycle. Trauma affects your gut, and a compromised gut can intensify feelings of anxiety and depression. Your internal ecosystem, meant to be a harmonious garden, becomes a chaotic wasteland reflecting the inner turmoil of your mind. Number six, the immune system's confusion, from protector to attacker. Your immune system is designed to protect you from invaders, but when you're under chronic stress from trauma, it can become confused, shifting from a balanced protector to an overactive or underactive system. This can mean two things. Either your immune system is constantly inflamed, mistakenly attacking your own tissues, leading to autoimmune conditions, or it becomes suppressed, making you more susceptible to infections and illnesses. It's like a bodyguard who either attacks innocent bystanders or falls asleep on the job. The constant alarm bells ringing in your nervous system translate into a biochemical cry for help that your immune system struggles to interpret, leading to a state of internal disarray where your body effectively turns on itself. Number seven, the weight of the past, metabolic changes and chronic conditions. The hormonal and inflammatory changes induced by trauma can significantly impact your metabolism. This can lead to difficulties with weight management, an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes, and other metabolic syndromes. Your body, perceiving a constant state of emergency, may prioritize fat storage and resist burning energy, a primitive survival mechanism for times of famine. But in the modern world, this often translates to stubborn weight gain and a dysregulated metabolism. It's another subtle yet profound way that the echoes of your past can manifest physically, making it harder to maintain optimal health despite your best efforts. Number eight, the silent signals, chronic pain and body sensations. Many individuals with a history of trauma experience unexplained chronic pain and a myriad of unsettling body sensations. This isn't just all in your head. Your nervous system, perpetually dysregulated, can amplify pain signals or create them in the absence of physical injury. Muscles may remain tense, leading to headaches, neck pain, or back pain. You might experience inexplicable fatigue, tingling sensations, or a constant feeling of unease within your body. Your body is holding the story that your mind struggles to articulate, speaking to you in the language of physical discomfort. This persistent discomfort can be incredibly debilitating, impacting every aspect of daily life and reinforcing the sense that something is fundamentally wrong with your body. Number nine, the erosion of sleep, a fragmented rest. Sleep is your body's essential repair and reset button. But for those with trauma, restful sleep often becomes an elusive dream. Nightmares, hypervigilance, and an overactive nervous system can lead to insomnia, fragmented sleep, or non-restorative sleep. According to research published in Sleep Medicine Clinics, sleep disturbances are a hallmark symptom of PTSD and other trauma-related disorders, often perpetuating the cycle of distress and impacting overall health. Without adequate quality sleep, your body and mind are deprived of the crucial time needed for healing, memory consolidation, and emotional regulation this perpetuates the cycle of dysregulation, making it even harder to cope with daily stressors and further compromising your physical health. Number 10, the breath of life, a shallow existence. Observe your breathing when you're stressed or anxious. It often becomes shallow, rapid, and held high in your chest. This is a common physiological response to trauma, and it can become a chronic pattern. Shallow breathing limits oxygen intake, impacts your nervous system, and perpetuates the fight-or-flight response. Deep, diaphragmatic breathing, on the other hand, 
activates the vagus nerve, which helps to calm your nervous system and promote relaxation. When your breath is perpetually restricted, it's as if your body is constantly holding its breath, anticipating the next blow, unable to fully expand and release. The seemingly simple physiological change has profound impacts on your overall well-being, contributing to feelings of anxiety, fatigue, and a constant sense of unease. Number 11, the heart's burden, a silent strain. The constant activation of your stress response takes a significant toll on your cardiovascular system. Chronic stress, inflammation, and high blood pressure, all linked to trauma, can increase your risk of heart disease, strokes, and other cardiovascular issues. Your heart, a resilient muscle, is forced to work harder, day in and day out, under the constant pressure of a body preparing for perpetual danger. It's a silent strain, accumulating over years, often manifesting as serious health problems later in life. The emotional burdens of trauma literally become a physical weight on your heart, not just metaphorically, but in a very real, physiological sense, accelerating the aging process of this vital organ. Number 12, the cellular imprint, epigenetics and generational trauma. Perhaps the most astonishing discovery is the concept of epigenetics. This field explores how environmental factors, including trauma, can actually switch genes on or off without changing the underlying DNA sequence. This means that the impact of trauma can be passed down through generations. Even if the subsequent generations haven't directly experienced the trauma themselves, leading researchers like Rachel Yehuda, whose work at Mount Sinai has significantly advanced our understanding of the epigenetics of trauma, have demonstrated how offspring of Holocaust survivors, for example, show distinct epigenetic markers related to stress response. The scars of your ancestors, the unhealed wounds of your lineage, can be subtly imprinted on your very cells, influencing your stress response, your vulnerabilities, and your resilience. It's a profound thought. The echoes of past suffering reverberating through time, shaping your biological destiny. But here's the powerful truth. If trauma can be passed down, so too can healing. Understanding this isn't about being trapped by your past. It's about gaining the knowledge to break these cycles and reclaim your biological and emotional freedom. The stories of our past are not merely narratives. They are encoded instructions within our very being, waiting to be rewritten. The journey of healing from trauma is not merely a psychological one. It's a deeply physical process. It involves calming a hyperactive nervous system retraining a vigilant brain, and nurturing a body that has been under siege. It requires patience, compassion, and a commitment to understanding the intricate dance between your mind and your biology. But know this, your body is incredibly resilient. It has an innate capacity for healing, given the right support and environment. Understanding these profound impacts is the first crucial step toward reclaiming your well-being. It's about turning the light on in the dark corners of your internal world, and recognizing that the silent battles you fought have left their mark, but that these marks can be transformed. If this video resonated with you, if it shed light on aspects of your own experience or helped you understand someone else's, please consider giving it a like. Your support helps us reach more people who might be grappling with these silent struggles. And if you want to continue exploring the complex interplay between our minds and bodies, and how we can navigate the difficult paths of healing and growth. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. We've talked about what trauma does to your body today. In my last video, titled 13 Things Abusers Do to Make You React, Then Play the Victim, we delved into the manipulative tactics often employed in toxic dynamics. Understanding these patterns is another vital piece of the puzzle in protecting your well-being. What was the most surprising thing you learned today about how trauma affects the body? Let me know in the comments below. Your insights and experiences are invaluable. All the sources for this research are listed in the description.